we're gonna LiDAR scan this one and see what the dimensions of it are. This is another, um, this is another Revolutionary War uh, lead mine. Is the snake going to be part of the scan? He is. <laughs> well, I don't want to have any blank spots, so... That's great. Whether there's a snake he's, there or not. He's immortalized. I need a snake spotter when I'm scanning. <laughs> Just to keep me from get, from bumping into snakes. Ideally, when we get our um, like our reality show, I'll have someone that his only job is to keep me from snake getting snake, really bumping into snakes. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't think we know anyone that would want to be a snake spotter, so we'll have to get someone who's professional with yeah, snakes. Yeah, exactly. Most people I know hate snakes. Well, plus the, the show should have the budget for like a professional snake yeah. person. Well, that was a good mind. Oh, it is high. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god, my, my tool is gone. Someone took it. How did they get that out? Kidding me? It's gone. Wow, I was just looking at this. That's a vein. Yeah, Look there's a nice. Mineralized quartz. See the iron in it? That probably gave them a heads up. There's a shaft right above your head. Whoa, we yeah. could potentially find where that is on the surface using LiDAR. Wow! Plugged with a big rock. Yes. That's amazing. Huh. I'm just surprised that someone stole my coat. That was a that was a good tool. How'd they get that unstuck? I can't believe that. They stole my shovel and my hoe. Yeah, so we don't know where this goes. This this could be a dig. I mean, look at the rock. The rock is not bad to dig through. So in a previous video, I tested the LiDAR on my phone to see if I could scan an underground space and then exit to the surface, walk the surface and find out where the underground space related to the surface. But of course, when I did this, it was more of an experiment uh, using train tunnels, and it, but it worked well. Today, for the very first time, we used this, this feature to find where a mine tunnel is in relation to the surface and not only that but to find where a shaft at the end of the tunnel may exit on the surface so this is a really important question because it, a lot of times we can dig past the fill in a shaft in a mine to get past the shaft and go further into the tunnel but my big question was was this actually a shaft but by scanning the mine and then walking the surface i confirmed that the tunnel probably does continue 
because it's not as close to the surface as I thought. This might have potential for being dug and all by using the LiDAR on the phone to see where this tunnel is in relation to the surface. So this is the first time we ever use this technique for a practical application to find where a mine is on the surface. And the most exciting part of all was that as I was walking the surface, I could actually see the, the scan of the mine underneath my feet. So as I was walking with my phone, I could see in almost like a re virtual reality sense, the tunnel under my feet. So I was actually walking on the surface where I saw a tunnel under my feet until I got to the end of the tunnel. I marked that spot on the surface with a piece of ore that I found on the ground. And we now know directly where that shaft is at the end of the mine. And I have a feeling that it actually continues 